Reports suggest ISIL resistance in Mosul, Iraq's second city, may be crumbling as special forces push deeper into the city. As the forces advance, they turn up more evidence of ISIL's reign of terror. A mass grave containing some 500 bodies has been discovered in Badush prison, and people come up to the liberating forces with stories to tell. There were some women walking in the street when a mortar landed nearby. We rushed to help the wounded, and we were hit by a second mortar. At least 200,000 people have fled the battle, and more are leaving every day as the fighting intensifies. Many of them are starving and in very poor condition. Some aid is reaching Mosul, but there's not enough to go around. And whenever a truck arrives, it's instantly surrounded by desperate people. They forced women to wear veils and young men to wear trousers and grow beards. They hurt us a lot and humiliated us. They prohibited smoking. A single cigarette would cost four dollars. Now it's 25. We did not have food and hunger and unemployment were rife. The old city remains one of ISIL's last strongholds, but the Islamic militants appear to be on the brink of losing their last major urban base in Iraq. Most of the top leadership has already left to continue the fight elsewhere. For Mosul's residents, an end to the fighting cannot come soon enough.